Hi there, and welcome to today's session. Many of you have asked me, how do I download my This is TESOL Online, a free online course that takes place every year, and you're invited to join. So how do I download my content so that if I don't finish the course, and I'd like to restart it next year, but not have to do everything, but only the things that I still need to complete, how do I do it? Well, this is how it's done. I'm in as a student, and I'm going to go into the top here where it says more. So there I am with more. Open that up and notice what I get. Unenroll competencies and download. And this is what I do. Download course content. You're about to download a zip file of course content, excluding items which cannot be downloaded, and any files larger than 50 MB. So I click on that. Goes into my computer. No, remember, it's a zipped file, and I'm on a Mac. But that's, that's just fine. Now I'm going to go into it by going into my files my finder because it's a mac and then into download and there it is you can see it right here but if you're using a windows system it'll look slightly different but it's the same idea the idea is that it's there in your file system and there notice everything is here all the files that are connected to the course so you can look at it for example, if I want to go into this one, the last one, URL syllabus, it's just a, there, that's the syllabus. I just click on it and I'll be able to open it up. It's an HTML, so that's not a problem. Let me go into uh, something else here. And that is the forum. Support, notice lots of support forms. Showcase. Let's go into the showcase and notice this is also an HTML and I want to open it with Safari in my case. So I click on it and there it is. There is the course content. Now this may not be something that you want unless you want to recreate my course and I hope you don't do that. This is just for your benefit so you can deal with that. Let me go open it up, showcase and reflect. And this is what it is here. Okay. Now notice that um, you haven't done everything. So we want only things that you have not done or things that you have done that you can upload next year. So we're going to go into TESOL and then we're going to go to the right here. All right. Let's go here on the right. Click on that. And then we get all this information. We're going to scroll down until we get to completion. Click on the completion. And notice I haven't done anything. So there's nothing really here for me to look at. But you want to get the information that you already added. So this is where you go. You go into your profile at the top right. Notice you've got all the content so you can work on the content. If the course is closed for you so that it's ready for next year, that's even faster. Especially if you don't have too much, you open it up. And then under your profile, notice there's your profile. You click on it. And then you scroll down until you get to your work which is course details, the two courses that I took, and maybe more, because there are more courses that I took. And then under miscellaneous, you can have your forum posts and the discussions. Now, I would go with the posts, but you can take a look at the discussions as well. And you might want to go over your grades just to get an idea. That's your report. So let's take a look at, remember, I didn't do very much because I only have this account as a student, but I'm the 
facilitator of this course. So let's go into forum posts. And then I'll, I'll get a list of all of the forum posts for TESOL, not another course, for the course that I am in. So I'll get it for all my posts. All right, so this is the first one. Did I do this one? Um, yes, I did. There I am. Introduction. I introduced myself. So what I can do now, notice, let me just get rid of that. I can export each one. Notice here, export to portfolio. All my work can be exported. So let's click on that. It may take time, but it's worth your while. And then notice there's a file download right here and then I'm going to go to next if you're curious as to what is here just ignore it but you can use Google Docs if you like and then all the information will be in Google Docs let's do that so that we see it in Google Docs I can go under my name and then fail to send your data to select a portfolio original error ah because i don't have a google doc with this only with my other email this is a yahoo account so my apologies for this all right so uh sorry about that um you need to have a gmail account so let's say i don't have a gmail account but if you do that's fine you'll get the uh the file into your google docs trust me i'll show you in a minute right so file download next and then um, notice what you want here html or leap to a format try the format the leap to a next all right and then confirm that this is what you want and i'm going to go into my computer i'm on a mac as i said i'm going to go into post html that's what it's going to look like if you opted for html and i highly recommend that you do that in case the leap doesn't work okay especially if you're on a mac but if you're on a windows it could very well work and there it is there is my work okay which is just an audio recording and i can play it Hi there, my name is Melanie Deutsch, and I've been teaching English as a foreign language. So that's it. And you have it as a post. Let's go back to the course. All right, so this is the course. Now we can go return to where you were and continue with this. So again, you go to your profile under the course. Notice it's specific to the course. So when you're in the course, you go to your profile. Let's go back to the course so I can show it again. I go into my courses because you may have uh, more than one. And then I go into TESOL online, which is this course. And then, and only then, do I go into my profile at the top right. Click on the profile. Scroll down until I get to miscellaneous. And then I have my forum discussions. You might want to take a, sorry, forum post. You might want to take a look at the discussions as well forum discussions okay here we are and then this is your work next you're going to export to portfolio and that's it hope this has been of help if you have any questions feel free to add them to the comment box below and let me know if you have any Moodle related questions I've been using Moodle since 2003 as a teacher and admin and have never looked back. So enjoy moodling.